What's up YouTubers, Abdur7 here with another root video for Galaxy S2 for Sprint aka Epic 4G Touch right here you can see it now first thing first make sure you unlock your phone <laughs> not like unlock unlock just then go to application setting application unknown source is running it's checked and USB debugging is checked and go back go to your about phone and make sure you know what build number you are I'm AK02 alright just make sure that so put the phone away just like that connect it to your computer now you're gonna be going to the site that I will have in description thank to STF hub he's the one who created this he has all the stuff all you need to download is uh, actually this is second post this is what you will see sorry and make sure you do it through it uh, I am gonna be running this right here so if you just want to follow me just download this file I already have downloaded after you download it you will be right here double click it run it's extracting right now as you can see two three one yeah buddy oh. <coughs> excuse me I'm sorry uh now if you wanna install root press A and just keep press A enter and it's gonna ask you everything is uh, installed verify everything is installed I already have rooted so I'm just gonna go back I'm just gonna cancel this And I'm gonna run it again. So you just press A in order to root your phone. Then for CM CWM, I wasn't able to uh, do it through ROM manager. So for CWM, press C as it says. Right here, C. Enter. Is that no? That's it. This is enter. Okay. Now, remember I told you, remember what build number are you? This is where it's going to get used. So I told you I was EK02 and I want CWM, Clockwork, Mod, Recovery. R doesn't represent in name. So I'll press E. I'll press Enter. Double E. I'll verify that. I already have that. Samsung, USB or Android drivers. And phone is already connected and USD, USB debugging is done and press enter again waiting for device to be connected found device it says after you press any key continue properly routed you might see prompt asking for permission so press enter again yep now allow it since you're rooted you allowed it and that's gonna do its work this is what android and sda is about so I used to be Apple phone, Apple fanboy actually. Not anymore since my friend recommended me or they pushed me to switch. And now cannot believe what I was missing. I was just kidding. I wasn't being Apple. I wasn't that kind of Apple fanboy. I had an iPhone 4. Since they came out with iPhone 4s, which means 4 sucks, I wasn't so happy about it. So I thought. Need to switch 
which I did. Just this is all normal. Your phone may be slightly slower for a short time after boot is complete while it performs maintenance. So let's put the phone right here so you guys can see what's going on. It says rebooting, it says cleaning up temporary files done, rebooting, activity complete, hell yeah, this is what I'm talking about, Androiders, keep watching my videos and keep learning new stuff every day, I'll try to post every day, which is not gonna happen, I hate, I don't like Sprint, I have AT&T, I got LTE, I don't pay more than more than uh, Sprint, I guess. I do pay more than Sprint, but that's because I have family plan. But not like Verizon; they they rip you off. They like charge you hundred bucks and stuff. Don't like that. So AT and T, LTE, get twenty four Mbps highest right now. Oh, it's rebooting right now. It's gonna take a while. I'm not, I don't know why I'm BSing right now. All the, all this talking doesn't mean anything. I'm just keeping you entertained. By the way, I recommend you guys checking out Zero Max. It's a, another cool guy who makes videos. John for Lakers and Techno Buffalo, I like them. Man, now I'm like advertising for people. Trust me, they never recommend me to do this. I'm just telling you what I like to do when I'm free. Actually, I'm on Androiders when I'm free, so you can check me out right here. Okay, if you're a noob and if you're like uh, really, really new to Android, like there's nothing you know about it, I recommend you to go to down the link that I have. By the way, the phone has been what do you call rebooted. But I recommend you to go to this website I have. Man, Comcast sucks in Michigan. I'm in Michigan right now, by the way. Yeah, it's friend's house. Uh, I recommend you to check out one of my posts I have XDA. It's really, really useful, especially if you consider yourself noob. I used to be like uh, two months ago or something. Nah, I learned a lot. We just have to wait for the internet to. Till that, let's get into the download more by holding power up and I mean power button and volume up. Just press and wait until it boots. This was the post is in background right now. I'm just making sure both is gone. It says all in one. Nubgar. Oh, boo yeah. I'm in recovery mode. Hell, motherfucking yeah. Sorry, didn't try to swear. In. Swear, I still don't be. But this is my post for all you new Androiders or. Or, or or noobs that's what I try to call them by the way I get a lot of PMs about asking the same question over and over I don't get tired as long as I get thanks I'm good about it so this is right here all these steps will show you how to do stuff this is the one that you can go to stock and this is for uh, semi phones and uh, skyrocket I have this on skyrocket form by the way uh, mostly Android stuff is same. It just changes for different phones. So I'm in clockwork mode right now. I'll see you later, guys, because I'm gonna be reviewing MIUI for Epic to Epic 4G Touch. So I'm passing out, guys. Bye.